what's up guys everything apple pro here and a lot of us get so hung up on waiting for the next update the next jailbreak that we don't take the time to really understand the current firmware we're using in this video i'm going to show you 10 awesome tips tricks secrets and hidden features that currently work on iOS 9.3.1 and 9.3.2 being the most current. So these are really useful things like cool things such as turning on low power mode and night shift at the same time, freeing up system memory, and a lot of cool things in general that most of us don't even know about. And I don't promise you don't know about them, but there will be at least a few in here that I think you guys will be surprised by. So let's get right into it. First off, I'd like to show you I am running the latest 9.3.2 firmware. So how do you turn on night shift and low power mode at the very same time? It's incredibly simple. This method was found by iDevice Help, an awesome guide. I'll leave the source material down below in the description. But night shift being the new feature 9.3 does eat up more battery life than if you were just using your standalone display. So Apple doesn't like to let us use it with low power mode for some reason because they conflict, but we can still enable it using a new method. So in settings, go into display and brightness, go into night shift, and in here, ask Siri to turn on low power mode. Turn on low power mode. Okay, I turned on low power. All right, you can go ahead and click back and now select manually enable until tomorrow. So now you have night shift and low power mode running on the latest firmware. The old method has been patched. Now when you try and jump back in here, you are no longer able to, but still you have both of them running and I think this is awesome. So big shout out to iDevice Help for this one. All right, so next I'd like to show you how to free up some storage space, especially if you have a 16 gigabyte device. But regardless, if you're getting very close to full, this will free up some space. Now I have 7.9 gigabytes remaining. I'll show you how to easily free up some more. And it sounds strange, but it actually works. So go into the iTunes store, and we're gonna search for a movie that's very, very large. So let's say War and Peace. And the movie has to be a greater file size than the amount of storage you have remaining. War and Peace, click on it. And don't worry, it won't charge us. We don't have to pay anything, but you wanna click on Rent. And you wanna make sure, of course, the movie is larger. This is 8.86 gigabytes. So in a second here, it'll basically tell me I don't have enough storage space to do this. And uh, when we go back, we should have a little bit more. All right, so you wanna click on settings here and then go into storage and iCloud usage. And now you have more available. So for me, that was 0.2 gigabytes that got freed up from 7.9 gigabytes. But the good thing about this is that it's repeatable. You can go and do it again. And uh, actually wrong one but you can try and download it again and you will have even more free space. I've heard people doing this up to five times, but make sure you don't cross the uh, amount of the movie. This is 8.86 gigabytes, so eventually you're gonna have to pay for it, so don't reach that point. Let's go back into the settings and see if I freed up any more, and unfortunately I didn't. But I heard that many people can do this over and over again, especially if you have less storage and you'll see more and more results really, really cool. Are you guys tired of being pestered and badgered into updating even though you don't want to? Uh, this next trick will actually show you how to remove the over the air notification little badge on settings. So not in all cases will it do that, but you will still free up memory and delete that update. And a lot of people don't know how to do this. So it's very simple. I actually want to show you before I have uh, 8.2 gigabytes available. And now go back and go into storage and iCloud usage, go into manage storage. And in here, you should see the software update that you just saw. Just click delete. And now you will no longer have a badge on settings. Now, in some cases, you should clear it up like this and it might go away, but for me, it hasn't. So for some people, some people have reported that the badge will go away, but in any case, you just freed up a little bit of storage. All right, so really, really cool. I just said that it didn't work, but restart your iPhone and that badge is immediately gone. So you just need to refresh. You'll still have it in settings in the software update page, but you will no longer have it from the home screen. Easy way to remove the over the air notification badge. Next, here's a really easy way to refresh, reset the app store. And it's very, very simple. I've had a lot of instances where uh, my updates page is stuck. Like I'll have that badge right there and it just won't go away. Or maybe for some reason, app store hangs. You know, I just have a lot of issues with it. Apple built in a secret way to easily refresh the app store. Tap on one of these icons 10 times. So go ahead and tap on them and you'll notice that the screen will flash, go blank, and you just cleared the uh, cache for the app store. And if you ever have any problems with the app store, that's all you need to do and it'll reset it. And here's how to reset the RAM on your device. No, going into the app switcher and clearing things out of here does not reset or restore memory. This is how to do that without needing to restart your device. Very simple, but very effective if you have an application that's frozen or your device is just frozen in general like this, hold the power button as if you're turning your device off and then just hold the home button 
for, I don't even know how many seconds it is, but this page will dismiss. And that's how you know, just like that, you just clear the RAM on your device. It should feel more speedy. This is something you probably need more often on older phones, but I've actually had a use for it on my success personally several times. Did you guys know that 3D touching on the Photos application will give you an option, if you have this available, to show you photo taken exactly one year ago. Now you have to have a lot of photos or a device that you've been using for a long time. Click on this, it'll take you to photos that were taken exactly a year ago today. And most people don't get that option because you don't have photos that are that old, but it's definitely there and it's cool just on different days to see where you were one year ago exactly. Did you guys know that there's a hidden emoji keyboard inside of iOS based on text-based emojis? So. All of these can be yours and they're built in in iOS. You don't need to download anything extra. So all of these that you may have seen around can be easily accessed using the secret keyboard emoji feature. Really, really cool. And let me show you how to go ahead and use this. It's very, very simple. So all you guys need to do is go into settings and go into the keyboard settings in general and scroll down to keyboard, keyboards. So you guys want to select add a new keyboard, Japanese, scroll down and find it and then select a Ramaji or however that's pronounced. So now when you go to type wherever it may be, you wanna make sure to select that keyboard in here and then go into the number area and you'll see this little face. So click on it and click up right here and now you have access to this awesome new emoji keyboard. And here's a really neat one. How to make your display brightness even lower than what Apple allows you. Sometimes this isn't enough. I can personally attest to that. You know, at night when you're using your phone on bright white backgrounds, it can be blinding. Night shift helps, but not as much as I'd like. With iOS 10, I hope there's a night mode, a completely dark mode, but this helps for now. So how to lower the brightness even more? Go into general, accessibility, zoom, and we're gonna enable zoom. Make sure show controller is on. So uh, click on the controller right here and this zoom bar go all the way down to the left. Then select uh, choose filter, low light, and then go down to zoom region and select full screen zoom. So now when we triple click, basically this is what we're gonna see, it's gonna dim. Now go back and scroll all the way down in accessibility to accessibility shortcut and select zoom here. And then we can go back to zoom and disable this annoying thing, the controller. So disable that. So now go back to the home screen and whenever we triple click, our device will dim just like that. It's an awesome, neat little shortcut to uh, getting your device displayed to dim even further. So you can make this thing, you know, pitch black, however you like it. Uh, so, you know, I would only use this at night in my bed. Otherwise it's really hard to see, especially in the darker environments, but it's definitely there an awesome way to dim your screen even lower. Now here's a really, really simple one, one that I personally didn't know for what, like six, seven years of using an iPhone, just found this one out. So in the phone application, how to bring up the last used phone number, uh, the last one you dialed without going into recents. Just click the green phone button and it'll go ahead and bring up the last used phone number. So here's a secret way to record a diagnostic snapshot. For me and for you, probably useless, but it's a secret feature built into iOS mainly for developers and Apple technicians. So hold volume up and down and just click the power button. Your device will vibrate. That took a screenshot of basically, you know, diagnostics and usage on your device at the exact moment. Pretty useless, but it's good to know it's there. And lastly, as a bonus, I just wanted to share something with you guys, something that for me has changed the way I use my device and I cannot believe I didn't know this. So I wanna show you guys on a YouTube video. So whenever you're inside of a video and you wanna quickly minimize it, but not all of them have this easy control down here, just pinch and it closes like that. Pinch and it opens. It's so awesome and I had no idea how to do this up until a few months ago. So most of you will probably know that, but for those of you that haven't, it changes the way you completely use your device. So guys. Thank you.